Hey everyone, it's Sean Bailey. Welcome to this video today here where I'm going to talk to you about a lead generation funnel. And I'm going to go over this blueprint with you and break this down and explain to you what all these pieces mean and how to set this up for yourself. Because you see, when I first started, I didn't really have any kind of lead generation method set up in my business. No consistent, reliable system. And as a result, I didn't really have a business that was generating leads. But once I discovered and started using these types of funnels and mapping them out, like you're going to see here, uh, then everything changed. And I was able to get leads come in. As soon as they came to my website, I was able to acquire them in several different ways that I'm going to show you here. So this is something that you can take and use and implement today. So first, let's cover why this is important to you and why you need to have this set up. So the first reason is that this lets you acquire new leads into your funnel and it does it all hands off. And now that's important. I'm very big on systems, automation and hands off types of setups within my business. Now, with this setup that I'm gonna show you on this blueprint here, you're gonna be able to provide value to your visitors and they can come to know, like, and trust you. And those three things, know, like, and trust, are extremely important. A person is 100% more likely to buy something from you if they know, like, and trust you. Now, when you set up automated systems within your business, you can have long automated marketing sequences that turn prospects into buyers. And you need them to be long and automated because most people need an average of seven messages from someone before they consider buying from them. And if you think about how many times you bought something online, sometimes there are certain items that you'll buy right away just because you want it so bad. But other ones, they wear you down. They send you email after email, message after message. Sometimes you get a physical Note in the mail, they send you a sales letter and you come to grow to know this person and, and, and like and trust them and then, you, and then you wind up buying from them. Now what you can do is once you've built your list is you can survey this list and you can use that feedback to craft your next product that you're going to make for your list your next product that you want to sell using feedback that you get from them. Just using three simple questions, I'm going to go over those with you. Now, the next reason that this is important is that you can present them with an immediate offer. And you can set up what's called a self-liquidating offer. And the goal of this isn't to make any profit at all. If anything, it's just to cover itself, to pay for itself, right? It's a low-cost it's a low cost entry item, somewhere between $7 and $20, I find to be the magic number. And what this does is turns them from a prospect into a buyer because then it's infinitely easier for them to buy from you and spend more money with you. Now, this can be a free book or DVD. Just pay $3 for shipping. Now, this is huge because now you have their mailing address. Now, once you get their mailing address, you can engage in what's called offline online marketing or online offline marketing, a combination of that. You've acquired their name email address typically through a squeeze page. But when you get name, email address, mailing address, because you're going to send them a free book or a free DVD in the mail, now you're able to send other offers to them as well. You send out an email promoting your next product, but at the same time you send out a sales letter that they get in the mail, on average a person gets 147 emails a day. Do you really want to compete with that when most people go to their mailbox and they're getting five to seven pieces of mail? I'd much rather go in a race against five to seven. Now, this is also important to you because you get multiple methods to capture your leads and to maximize your list growth. Now, some of these methods, I don't really necessarily like um, some of these methods, but that's just because they're not configured properly. And I'm going to show you what I mean here. Now, the first one is the exit pop-up. They've come to your site and and they've clicked on the X in the corner, or they're getting ready to click on the X in the corner, and it says, hey, before you go, don't forget your free awesome toolkit, right? You want to make it sound very appealing to them because nobody wants to leave without their free awesome toolkit. Another one is the timed pop-up. They come to your site, after six seconds, it pops up, offering them some type of lead magnet that they opt in, opt in for, and what other people do is they have this set up so that it keeps popping up after every minute or six minutes. Uh, the way I have it set up on mine is it comes up after the first six seconds and then it doesn't come up again. It doesn't matter how many times they come to my site. They don't see it again for another seven days. If they come seven days later, then they'll, then they'll actually see it repeat. Now, I have graphics for each one of my lead magnets on my blog on 
the sidebar so they can see people are visual so they can see a picture of this awesome looking lead magnet um, a three-part audio series doesn't sound very appealing but you show a picture of it an awesome graphic with an iPod then I'm gonna to want to click on that and download it so let's talk about what you need to do in order to get this set up and working for you the first thing is to make sure that you're able to capture leads on every page of your blog, no matter where someone arrives. If it's through an article that they found through Google, they come, they read that article. There's an, an opportunity, at least one, for them to opt in, click on something, provide them with a lead magnet that gets them into your list. So the next thing is to set up a quick and easy product graphic so that people can see these awesome products on the side. This shouldn't be, this is $10 an hour activity. Some things are worth $10 an hour. Some things are worth $100 an hour. Some things are worth $1,000 an hour. This is $10 an hour. Outsource this, Fiverr. Uh, there's also easy sites that will let you go if you're creative enough and you can do this quick enough and you want to de dedicate, you know, if you can do this in like 15 minutes, per item or less, great, go ahead and spend the time, but this isn't something that I spend a lot of time on. Just get the graphic done, make it look, uh, make it look appealing so that people will click on it and want to opt in. So the next thing I want to do on my blog is use different modalities. So on, on my lead magnets for the graphics on the side, I'm going to have a picture of a toolkit or some type of book. I'm also going to have a picture of a video course, so some type of indication of video. And I've also got some audio on there as well. So they see a picture of an iPod that they can download and listen to. Now people learn in different ways. That's why you want to cater to that because that's why I have them set up in different ways. Some people like to listen to things on their commute. They like audio. Some people are more video based. They always got time to watch a video. Other people prefer to read a PDF. Now, pro tip for you here is that I always start with a video because then from that video, I can extract the audio, I can extract the slides, save those as a PDF, I can get the transcripts done up, I can use those transcripts in three different ways, and I've also got the video as well. So just from the video, you can get a lot of different a lot of different types of content. Now make sure you have your prospects opt in to get the content. Don't have a link, here's the link, download this file. Make them have to click on something, it pops up, name and email address, right after that they get the get the item but this way you capture them as far as being a lead now this is also important now this is also important because you can use that valuable thank you page when you have their attention and attention is an extremely it's the first thing you need to get from them so when you have it you need to use it so after they've opted in they're on their way to get their lead magnet or the lead magnets being sent to their inbox that's the time to pre present an immediate low ticket $17 item to this person so I'll talk about the tool list that I have uh, in order to make this all work. So the first thing is my WordPress blog. Um, I just use it for blog posts. I have my lead magnet offers on there and also a product list so that they're able to see other things that I've got and potentially buy those right from the blog if they want. The next is called XMind. This is a mind map software that I use for brainstorming when I'm trying to hammer out ideas, put everything down. I'm a bit of a scatterbrain, so this really works well with me. Uh, I've tried to do it just in Notepad, hammer out an idea, but I don't know, I kind of bounce around a little bit, so I find a good mind mapping software works really handy for, for that. Next, I use PowerPoint to draw out the funnel blueprints. I also use it to do any of these types of slides for videos. Next, I, I'm, I use Camtasia, and I just hit record, start talking, and I create these videos. It also is a handy platform to let you edit the videos afterwards, throw in a few effects. I don't do my editing, uh, but it's a very, it's a nice one-stop shop for video. Last thing is physical DVDs. We have one of our lead magnets is a free DVD in the mail. So we actually put and bundle up the DVD, a sales letter, and send it off to them. And that's basically our, our self-liquidating offer. So let's talk about what'll happen when you do this. Once you have this set up, you're going to have multiple methods to capture leads on your website. No one you're going to have in your bucket. There's a lot of leaky holes. And if you have something like this set up, you're going to start plugging a lot of holes and getting a lot more leads. Now, the process is going to be completely automated. You're going to have a lead generation machine running full time to bring new leads into your funnel. This is something important because it's working for you full time. Anyone comes to your site, they're going to be taken care of. Now you're going to be able to market to these leads that you're acquiring onto your list whenever you want. 
You can also use those leads for feedback for product creation, as well as selling higher ticket items through a webinar. I'm going to show you that on the blueprint on the next slide here. Okay, so let's take a look at the funnel as it is on the blueprint here. So under my attract method, I've got all kinds of different ways, whether it's uh, through affiliates, Twitter, Facebook, blog posts, content, however I've gotten this person to come and they've landed onto my blog. I've got it set up with three items on the sidebar, three lead magnets. I've got a PDF download. The second is a free video course. And the third is a free DVD sent in the mail. So I've got three of my modalities covered and they're able to click. As soon as they click, then they opt in and they're on my list. So the next part is the thank you page. Now on my thank you page, I have it set up so there's an on page social media sharing option. Share this on Twitter, share this on Facebook. I want to make sure I spread this as much as possible and get as much free traffic as I can. So for the last part here, after the thank you page is I've got a link on my thank you page that takes them directly to a survey. Now I tell them that their content's on the way and on this survey, if they click on it, there's three questions on the survey. And those questions are, what is your biggest challenge when it comes to this particular niche? Second question is, what solution are you seeking? Or sorry, why are you seeking a solution? And the third question is, how hard has it been to find a solution? Because those questions, a lot of times you'll ask someone, what's your biggest challenge, but you're not going to get, it's not going to, the importance of it isn't going to be transferred across because you want to know how hard has it been to find a solution. Those things where they say, I haven't been able to find this everywhere. Those are your golden nuggets. Now, once you have those types of, once you have that type of feedback along with, I've also got a three, at least a three email goodwill campaign. So once they've opted into my list, they're going to see, they're going to get it. There's an automatic sequence and they're going to get at least, you should start with at least three emails. I have email campaigns that run for months, but you want to start with at least something. You want to start with at least something, some type. Now, once that's all done and you've got your list on the selling, if I'm doing any type of marketing with a new product, I'm going to use, I'm going to base my product creation on the feedback that I've got from the people who filled out this survey. Okay. And I'm going to look for the ones, like I say, why are they seeking the solution and how hard has it been? I'm looking for certain ones there who say that they haven't been able to find this anywhere because those are the, those are the important ones. And there you go. And that's the entire, that's my lead generation funnel. And that happens automatically that's set up for me and that runs for me full time. So go ahead and take this. If you want to copy this completely, go ahead, and I will see you in the next video.